Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at a multi-operating system installer slash selector called Pin Light. In this video we'll go ahead and install several operating systems and we'll go ahead and take a look at the main features. Let's check it out right now. Let's briefly discuss what Pinlight is. It does not include any operating systems. They get downloaded based on your selections. Therefore, it is a multi-operating system OS installer. And it is an operating system selector in that you can select your operating system and go ahead and boot it. You don't have to remove the SD card to switch to a different OS. And you can install Pinlight on your micro SD and the operating systems on an SSD which is what I'll be showing in this video. First off, I'll show you how to set up the micro SD card with pin light. This one is 16 gigabytes. We'll go to raspberrypi.org, go to software, and from there we'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit until we can see the downloads for the various operating systems such as Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, x86, and you can download the Raspberry Pi imager directly on a Raspberry Pi. Using the Windows version, I'll click Choose OS, and then scroll down to the very bottom, of the list and you will see erase. We're going to go ahead and format this micro SD card as FAT32. Next I'm going to select the micro SD card which is 16 gig and click right. From there it'll ask you if you are okay with it being erased. Go ahead and click yes and it'll erase all its contents and format the micro SD card as FAT32. Go ahead and click continue and close out. From there we want to go to sourceforge.net projects pin and then download pin light so we'll go ahead and select the download button and right click and extract it I use the free 7-zip utility to extract it to the pin light subdirectory now we'll double click in that directory click one of the files press control a select all and then copy the contents and move over to our micro SD card and paste it directly into the root of the micro SD card you can use any case you prefer, but in this example, I'm going to use the Argon 1 M.2 version 2 case. I purchased a 1 terabyte SSD that I'm going to go ahead and use. If you'd like to use the same case, I have a full video on the Argon 1 M.2 case, which you can check out on my channel. Now, let's go ahead and install some operating systems. On first boot, it'll take a few seconds, so just be patient and you need to either connect an Ethernet cable or connect it to your Wi-Fi network. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and select Lucas24, which is my Wi-Fi network, and go ahead and enter my password. Once connected, you'll see a large list of all the operating systems that are available to you to install on PinOS Lite. First thing I'm going to do is select the SSD, which is this SDA40, and it's going to warn me that everything will be erased, which is just fine. It's a brand new SSD. So we'll go ahead and click yes. There are a few options at the top to make you aware of. Info will give you some additional information about the operating system that you have selected. And clear will clear your selections. We'll go ahead and click more over here. From there, you can clone an operating system to an external drive, change the time, and refresh the list of operating systems. Clicking more again, you can go to edit config and change any of these files, the config.txt, for example, for overclocking or whatever settings you want to make. We'll go back to more and go to our main list. We'll go to the first tab and check out the operating system here, which is Raspx4. I'm not interested in that one, so we'll go to minimal. And I'll go ahead and select Raspberry Pi OS Lite and Diet Pi. I've wanted to play with that, so I'll go ahead and select that one. And let's go ahead and go to the General tab, and there's a large list here, so I'll go ahead and pick Raspberry Pi OS and Kali Linux full 32-bit. That sounds good. And just select a bunch of them. After all, I've got one terabyte to fill up, so let's go ahead and have fun and select a whole bunch of OSs to play around with, right? Under Media, you have Lineage OS and Libre Elect for the Raspberry Pi 4, so I'll go ahead and select both of these. Now I'll click on the Games tab, and of course we got to select Recall Box for the Raspberry Pi 4, as well as RetroPie 
and we'll go ahead and install Laka and of course Bodocera as well. And the very last tab is the Utility tab, and there's no changes that I need to make here. At the bottom, it'll show how much is needed and how much space is available, or one terabyte. Be sure and set your language to the correct language. And note that the operating system selected cannot be changed in the future without wiping them out. So make sure you have your list correct, and go ahead and click Yes here. And click yes, and it'll go ahead and download and install each of the operating systems that you selected. This process will take a little while, so go ahead and grab you a cup of coffee and come back to it later. Okay, I've had my cup of coffee. Everything's installed. I'm going to go ahead and hold down the shift key while I'm booting it up so we can take a look at the other options here. This is what is known as the recovery mode, and it's not something that you typically want to do. However, if you click the install, you'll see here that if I make any changes, it's going to wipe out the operating system. So we don't want to do that. But I do want to show you how you can get into this menu. Everything else we pretty much covered. We'll move back to the main tab and hit the exit or escape key, which will return us back to the bootloader. If you want to rearrange how the operating systems are listed on the boot menu, simply select the operating system and click the up or down button. That way you can go ahead and have your most used operating systems at the top of the list. Next we'll boot into Pi OS 32-bit and I'll quickly go through the setup here. One thing that I want to make you aware of is if you look in the background you'll see all these drives being populated on the desktop. Each of these contain all the operating systems that we just installed so each one has its own. If you want to hide that all you have to do is uh, right click on the desktop itself, go down to desktop preferences, and then where you see mounted disks on the desktop tab, simply click the checkbox there and click the OK button, and there you go. Now you've got an uncluttered desktop. Now we're going to take a quick look at Twister OS, so we'll go ahead and select Twister OS and click Boot. And I am cutting out all the boot sequences just because I'm pretty sure you don't want to see it. But Twister OS is an excellent operating system. In fact, it's my favorite for the Raspberry Pi. Not only does it include a lot of applications pre-installed, including RetroPie, but you can change the themes. For example, this is the iTwister Sur Lite theme, which kind of resembles the Mac OS look. And then here we have Twister 10 Dark, which of course resembles Windows 10. And there's plenty more you can experiment with. The only issue I ran into and worth mentioning is that the version of Twister OS that Pinlight installed was rather old and I had to go through the update process several times to get to the latest build. Now we'll take a quick look at Recall Box, so I'm going to select that and click Boot. The first thing I wanted to do was to make sure that I updated to the latest build, which is 7.2. So I had to change the storage to the share, the XT4 share here, and I was able to update just fine. And while I was at it, I went ahead and copied a few games, and yeah, everything played just fine. If you need more details on how to set up Recall Box, I've got a video link up above. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this look at Pin Light. Whether you are interested in using it for experimenting with different operating systems, productivity, or even gaming, this might be a great option for you. If you found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate clicking the like button below. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, then please click the subscribe. And with that, I will talk to you very soon.